What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and there's actually a few different things that had happened with this game over the last few days, right, community manager stuff and all this, but the biggest thing happened last night, and that's the one I'm going to, you know, probably just focus on for the sake of this video, because it's the biggest, I think it gives us the biggest hint as to, uh, you know, it's coming, but the other two things are also further signs, I think that we are going to get something uh, before the end of the year, I was honestly half expecting to wake up and have you know some sort of news or trailer or something today. Um, and I do think it probably is coming this week. But let's just talk about you know this post first. And basically, it's that Spider-Man 2 is now up on the store on the PlayStation Store, so you can wish list it, you can follow it, and it just did this. Now I don't know if this would indicate a release date. That would be quite something. And I mean, I would want a release date, right? If they show something this week, would a release date, you know, be be nice? Yes, but I really don't think the game comes out until, you know, I've said September. I really also think October, November, like late next year is when I think Spider-Man 2 comes out. I don't think you're going to give a release date for a game that's, you know, 10 or so months away. Um, it would kind of be like Starfield and Starfield was moved, right? So you can't really nail something down in modern day gaming that far in advance, but the fact that it is up on the PlayStation Store, the fact that, again, we have seen some things some behind the scenes with the actors, right? And one of them, I believe, even said, like, we're going to end the year off right. Or So, like, I do think we're going to get something. Now, my initial thought was we would get maybe, like, a PlayStation blog or something, you know, along those lines, right? Uh, something non-trailer. And Because the, the issue is, why wouldn't you have done it at the Game Awards? Well, I mean, it could be an easy answer. Maybe you didn't do it at the Game Awards because you did Death Stranding there right you did horizon you actually did playstation was quite the uh, thing at the game awards so maybe you didn't want spider-man and you want spider-man kind of on its own it would be weird for the game awards to have just been last thursday and then spider-man's trailer is say today right is a little odd so i do think we get something maybe this week and then their community manager even pointing to it i think he told people even to like go wish list it like go make sure you're following that page right and why would you follow it well any additional things that they sh you know if it's pictures or if it's a, a video is going to appear there so i do think we are you know within you know a week or two of getting it it's all it is also important to remember the weeks honestly because you have this week next week and then you have christmas and uh, I, I actually believe from from years past with like Insomniac specifically, they will post about going on like their holiday break. And correct me if I'm wrong for the diehards out there, but I'm pretty sure they go on pretty extended uh, breaks, pretty long. So it's possible this is their last work week, and that is maybe taking a jump. But say they don't work next week, the week after, or and even the week after that for New Year's, or they start coming back, um, this may be the only week you would do it. Now, yeah, you could you could schedule tweets, you could schedule videos but i would imagine say if if you know this friday the 16th is their last work day i could see us getting something before that so today tomorrow you know sometime this week um, or early next week but you do have to remember that christmas time you know that the week of the 26th through the 30th that monday through friday there's going to be pretty much it's going to be actually be pretty boring for me there's going to be uh, not a lot going on in the gaming world because everybody's off right and you do have to think about that in terms of showing new trailers and stuff it's not going to happen so you really do have this week and next week if you're going to do something before the end of the year um and, and so hopefully you know hopefully it's just within the, the next couple days for me personally it's a great time i think we're going to also get a scream 6 teaser trailer this week so uh two gigantic things in my life the channel's life uh happening on the same week that that's very good for me so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one.